It's election season and as expected, politics has begun over India's big announcement on its space weaponization program. For the moment, let's leave the politics inside and understand what the ASAT is and why it is such a big deal. Today, India successfully tested its indigenous anti-satellite technology by firing at a defunct satellite some 300 kilometers into space and destroying it completely. Mission Shakti, we are told, was a highly complex one and was completed in exactly three minutes by DRDO scientists. Now, anti-satellite weapons are space weapons that are used to intercept and destroy satellites for strategic and military purposes. So far, three countries, that's the US, Russia and China, had the technology. Now, India has also joined that elite club. Interesting to know that ASAT has never been used in a conflict situation or a warfare situation so far, even by mistake. India says its anti-satellite technology is to safeguard India's growing space program and is not aimed against any country. For example, we have the Gaganyaan, we have the Mangalyaan, we have communication satellites, we have defense satellites as well, which could possibly in the future be targeted by enemy nations. ASAT will be a deterrence, a strategic weapon that no one, absolutely no one will want to mess with. The last time any country tested the ASAT was China and that was way back in 2007. That test had become very controversial because of the space debris it had generated, parts of which still continue to float in space. India in its defense is saying that today's test was done in the lower orbit, so whatever debris is generated will decay and fall back onto Earth within weeks. Now, if you do remember, then India had decried China's anti-satellite test way back in 2007 and had taken an anti-space weaponization stand in almost all international forums. Today, in its defense, India is saying it has no intentions of entering into an arms race in outer space and we will adhere to a strict no-first-use policy.